Welcome my dear learners for this course on operations research. In this module 1, we were discussing on formulation of linear programming problems and solution for linear programming problems using graphical method. We were addressing additional problems on LPP using graphical approach. The problem number 11 of our discussion states that solve the following linear programming problem graphically z max is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 subjected to x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 30 x2 greater than or equal to 3 x2 less than or equal to 12 x1 less than or equal to 20 and x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0. So, this is a mixed constraint problem on maximization linear programming problem. I took this problem to address because we have a constraint like x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0. If I set x2 to 0, x1 will become 0. If I set x1 to 0, x2 will also become 0. Then how to construct a line for x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0 is the question to be answered which is very very important in this problem number 11. Come let me explain and solve this and obtain the solution for problem number 11. As usual, first convert all the constraint to equations and find the values of x1 and x2. That is if I move for solution of problem number 11, coming for the first constraint, we have x1 plus x2 is equal to 30. So, I made the first constraint as equation as x1 minus x1 plus x2 is equal to 30. So, therefore, if I set x2 to 0, x1 will become 30. If I set x1 to 0, x2 will also become 30. So, therefore, the coordinates of this line are 30 comma 30. Move for the second constraint, we have x2 greater than or equal to 3. So, if I make it as an equation, I will get the equation as x2 is equal to 3. So, therefore, the constraints are we do not have x1, hence it is 0 comma 3. Next, we have x2 less than or equal to 12. That is, if I make it as an equation, x2 is equal to 12. So, therefore, we do not have x1, take it as 0, x2 is 12. So, 0 comma 12 is the coordinate for this line for that constraint. Finally, we have x1 less than or equal to 20. So, if I make it as an equation, I will get x1 is equal to 20. So, since we have x1, 20, we do not have x2, take x2 as 0. So, 20 comma 0 is the constraint for this line x1 less than or equal to 20. Now, move for this one x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0. So, if I move for that one, that is x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0. Now, take it as an equation. I will get x1 is equal to x2, right? x1 minus x2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x1 can be written as x2. Now, if I put x2 as 1, x1 will become 1. Next, if I put x2 as 2, x2 will become 2. If I put x2 as 3, x1 will become 3. So, so on, I can get up to infinity comma infinity, right? So, since we have 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4 till infinity comma infinity, we will get a line at 45 degree moving to infinity. So, that is how we should build a line whenever we have RHS of a constraint as 0. If this would have been x1 minus 2 x2 greater than or equal to 0, then x1 is equal to 2 x2. So, therefore, x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 1, x1 will become 2. x2 is equal to 2, x1 will become 4. So, we will get a line as 2 comma 1, 4 comma 2, so on. So, build a line. So, like that you should find the coordinates by inputting the values of x2 and find the value of x1 and construct a line and plot it on the graph. Now, how to represent x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0? I will discuss that. So, if I rearrange this one, we will get x1 minus x2 is equal to 0, correct? That is the equation for this constraint from which we found that x1 is equal to x2 and obtain the line. Come let us first plot the line and then we will discuss how to indicate the direction and find the feasible region to obtain the solution for problem number 11. And to do that, let me construct the graph. The highest value of x and y we have is 30 comma 30. So, let me use 1 centimeter is equal to 2 units. Let me use 1 centimeter is equal to 2 units. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन सो सिमिलरली आई वॉन्ट थर्टी यूनिट्स इन एक्स एक्सिस सो इफ आई टेक वन सेंटीमीटर इज गुड टू यूनिट्स आई रिक्वायर फिफ्टीन यूनिट्स इफ आई प्लॉट दैट आई गेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन नाउ वी नो दैट एक्स एक्सिस ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंट्स दी वेरिएबल एक्स वन एंड वाई एक्सिस ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंट दी वेरिएबल एक्स टू सो सिंस आई टुक दिस स्केल इट इज गुड हैबिट टू राइट दिस स्केल फॉर ऑल दी प्रॉब्लम्स वॉट वी सॉल्व स्केल एलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस वी हैव टेकन वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू टू यूनिट्स Similarly, along y-axis, we have taken one centimeter is equal to two units. Now, if I mark, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. And thirty. Similarly, along positive x-axis, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, and thirty. Now, coming for the objective function, that is isoprofit line, which I should construct, construct and find the farthest point because we are solving for the maximum maximization problem so we will consider isoprofit line or the line this slant line from the objective function and slide it such a way that i'll find the farthest point to the isoprofit line or for the slant line which is obtained from the objective function so now to do that if i use the objective function we have the objective function as z max is equal to 2x1 Plus three x two. So if I rewrite it, I'll get two x one is equal to minus three x two. Hence the coordinates will become x one by x two will be equal to minus three by two. So the coordinate is minus three by two. Hence I want minus three along x axis. So this is two. This is four. Hence, it is is minus three. So we'll get the isoprofit line as minus three comma two, which will come here. So coordinates of this is minus three comma two. So join it to the origin. and use this line to find the solution for this problem first let us insert the constraints what we have the first constraint is 30 comma 30 so we are 30 here and we are 30 here so now i should join these two so if i join these two Yes, I can take it as slope here. So I'll get the slope as 30 comma 30. We have the line. So 
so I constructed a line for 30 comma 30 since it is less than or equal to the line should move downward line should move downward so this is a 30 comma 30 line which is less than or equal to line should move downward this is our first constraint moving for the second one x2 is equal to 3 so x2 is equal to 3 so this is the line for x2 is equal to 3 so draw a line for x2 is equal to 3 so I'll draw a line for x2 is equal to 3 since it is greater than or equal to this should move upward x2 is equal to 3 should move upward this is our second constraint next we have x2 is equal to 12 so this is x2 is equal to 12 here we have x2 is equal to 12 which is less than or equal to hence this should move downward this is our third constraint next we have x1 is equal to 20 here we have x1 is equal to 20 so this is the line for x1 is equal to 20 since it is less than or equal to 20 this should move towards left less than or equal to 20 and this is our fourth constraint coming for the last one we have x1 minus x2 that is x1 is equal to x2 is a 45 degree line so hence draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees 6 comma 6 8 comma 8 So this is a line for us at 45 degrees moving till infinity. Now the question is that we have x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 0 whether I should move this line above or below is the question. Now carefully observe the constraint what we have we will say it as x1 is greater than x2 is what is given for us correct x1 is greater than x2 now if i move this line upward and take this as a feasible region mark any point anywhere here and if you check x2 will be greater than x1 if i take a point here so x2 is 16 x1 is 6 then this condition is violated x2 will become greater than x1 but you take any point in below this 45 degree line let us say i will take a point here x1 will be 12 x2 will be 6 what I mean to say is that if you take any point arbitrary point just look at a point arbitrarily anywhere below this 45 degree line and just you check the coordinates it is evident for us that x1 is always greater than x2 for the region below this 45 degree line if you take arbitrary point anywhere here and check the coordinates it always indicates that x2 is greater than x1 x2 is equal to x1 only on this 45 degree line below this 45 degree line always x1 is greater than x2 locate a point arbitrarily and check the coordinates you will observe that x1 is equal to x1 is greater than x2 similarly you locate an arbitrary point above this 45 degree line and measure the coordinates so if you measure we will find that x2 is greater than x1 so what i want is x1 should be greater than or equal to x2 therefore this is the region so this is a very very important note since we have the sign greater than or equal to 0 I should move upward if you take like that then you will get wrong solution so here we always get that x1 is greater than x2 so if you move upward here you always get that x2 is greater than x1 which is not required this is what we require so put a point anywhere you want and measure the coordinate you will see that x1 is greater than x2 so therefore this line should move downward for x1 greater than or equal to x2 this line should always move downward so this is our fifth constraint just because of that he has given greater than or equal to 0 without thinking if you make it and ask it to move upward then what you have indicated is completely wrong for that case x2 will be greater than x1 and we will get the wrong solution hope you followed so now you identify the common region for satisfying all the constraints so identify the feasible region 
so now if i take this region this is violated because constraint 2 will not take this region so this region is ruled out this region is also ruled out because of constraint 4 now come for this region this region is ruled out because of constraint 5 so if i come for this region so this region belongs to all the constraints right so therefore this is the solution region that is feasible region for the given problem is this one so this is the feasible region for the given problem so if you mark the fifth constraint wrong then this will become the feasible region and you will end up with the wrong answer just because of greater than or equal to sign without thinking if you move that line upward you will end up in a wrong answer so check what is what mathematically he is asking for us from the constraint he is asking us from the constraint that find the region where x1 is greater than or x2 so below this line we always get x1 greater than or x2 so this is our feasible region feasible region now in this feasible region you find the salient points we have a b c d and e right so now if i move this slant line the least or nearest point is a nearest point is a which is not the solution for us so next if i move next if i move i'll get e as the second nearest which is not the solution point next i'll get b which is not the solution point next i'll get d so next i'll get d which is not the solution point so farthest point is c so we got the farthest point as c so c is the solution so farthest point is c so c is the solution hence we have the solution as the farthest point the farthest point is c so at c at c we have two e intersecting equations two intersecting lines we have two intersecting lines that is first one is constraint number three at c we have constraint number three and constraint number one so constraint number one is x1 plus x2 is equal to 30 and then we have x2 is equal to 12 so now solving these two directly i can write the solution as since x2 is equal to 12 x1 must be 18 so therefore therefore the solution is x1 is 18 and x2 is equal to 12 hence we obtained the z max as z max as 18 into 2 is 36 36 plus 36 12 3 is a 36 36 plus 36 30 30 60 6 plus 6 is 12 so the answer is 72 so the solution for this problem is 72 that is 2 into 18 plus 3 into 12 which is equal to 72 so the solution for this problem is 72 with x1 is equal to 18 units and x2 is equal to 12 units so this is how you should solve whenever you have the rhs of a constraint is zero construct a line also when you are inserting the constraint in the graphical graph sheet inspect whether it is satisfying the constraint properly or not and find the correct zone and indicate the direction and find the feasible region rest you know how to calculate we obtain the solution for problem number 11 as x1 is 18 and x2 is equal to 12 so z max is nothing but 72 units that's all from this lecture thank you all